to see how this entry without at least a little piece of the candle pushing through value area low fails and just bounces right back the distance off resistance though is four pips it's way too far On a five range candle, we need, we need two pips. And ex what happened here is exactly what we're concerned about. The trade came right back, pushed back by the value area low, hit resistance, and then turned back down. It's great movement. It's just great movement um, much, much earlier in the morning. Pound yen also, lots of movement. See that candle doesn't have a candle body at the time of the entry. Through the value, the, the point of control. Pushing a wick through is not as meaningless. In Japanese candlestick dogma, the only thing that matters is candle bodies, not wicks. When the trade eventually goes here after market profile has rearranged itself. So that you've got enough upward space between the entry and the value area high to at least get close to a first target and then it just the trade just sails. Unfortunately it doesn't come with an entry dot because it's an awkward market market structure wise it's it's awkward. Now there's certain entries you can take without a dot. I don't want to make this more complicated, but if you trade if you understand how to read market structure and price action, you can see this is a double bottom. And in a trade like this, if you're sitting on support of the 50, the candle's outlined in blue, which means you have order flow and momentum in your direction to the upside. And you really got the 50 is support, the point of control is support. You've pushed about half a candle through the uh, modified 15. Boom, up you go. And that is going to be a zone where you do get an alert, you just don't get an entry candle. And if you know how to read price action and market structure, every now and then you can take an entry on an alert without an entry candle. You don't need to because I believe that you're going to get enough complete alignment alerts with dots to make you all the money that you need. And, when the, and once we get past Labor Day, Volume is going to pick up on the market significantly.
futures market right now is very, very, very difficult to trade. Yesterday in the live trading room, we made $45.50. Uh, yesterday, the day before, we made, we made just under $300. Very tough to make money to, uh, in this environment. I don't know when Labor Day is. Maybe it's next week. Because the market's moving so slow here. What's a, what's a Labor Day 2016? It's Monday, September 5. So it's next weekend. Hallelujah. Yep. Next weekend. So volume's going to pick up significantly right after then. One thing I'm going to do okay. See, right now we're just not set up for a trade and we're, and we're sitting here and the volume counter is, is incredibly slow. We're going to see how volume is during during the uh, 7:30 to 8:30 Eastern Time uh, period after Labor Day. It may really pick up markedly, and we were getting some really nice entries earlier in the month. Just as we move into the end of, into the end of August, it's almost like Christmas week or New Year's week. Or Memorial Day week, which is very slow. And you can see how background bias call, calls the, the direction. And remember, that color doesn't turn pink because price falls. Price falls because, whoops, we got an alert.
right here on the Euro JPY. Well, we're going to sell a down close on the Euro JPY. You know, the only problem with it is it's coming with pretty light volume. Entry's 34. Market's moving. This is not this candle does not look like it wants to follow through. We're gonna keep our order in in case it pushes down suddenly. Is closed. Okay. Pal Dossi. Right here. Let's see. This would be a great signal if we get a dot here. See how there's lack of follow through? See, now a push down will not give us an entry. to two potential entries, but none of them followed through. There's the Euro JPY again. We're selling it down close.
Let's see if we can follow through and move to the downside. The only thing that puts this trade at jeopardy is, is, is really lack of real good volume. Or I should say makes it a little more risky. Right, we're filled. Let's see if we can get follow through to the downside. It's a perfect entry. Come on, push.
come on. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. We're not scalpers, but this market's so poor. Let's cut our first and second target. Still have our runner in. Sit on one candle this long, you know you got poor movement. Well, we need one more. Target. All right, first target's out. Let's bring our stop back. Same thing with Target, too. It's just a terrible moving market. We're, we're there. We're just not filling. Target's out. Let's move our stop to minus one.
so we can break this candle to the downside. I'm putting, moving the stop to break even. Gotta break the candle. All right, we're out. We didn't make much money. Mid eighty nine, sixty nine. But this is a horrific market. If you had this move with any kind of volume, it'd be a lot different. Now the market's moving lower. We played it conservative. Would have gotten another pip. Push two pips lower. I mean, we're just going to scale it for our own purposes, but it doesn't change the profit on the trade. See what a bad spot all the other uh, instruments are in. No bias. Yellow, yellow, no bias. Yellow, 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 yellow. Just real off, really bad. We can take a we can take a look at the euro at the, at the dollar yen. Yeah, this is just the move with no retracement. I mean, I mean, the move down has to create a pivot for us to get in, and this did not.
Well, it's gone seven bits. Well, we, we didn't have faith in this trade to move this far, just because of, because of volume. And now it's up nine pips. Much, much bigger winner. Shows what you can pull, even even in this pasty market. Um, when you, when you get a dot on an algorithmic entry, it's always my bent though to manage these trades conservatively, especially under in poor volume. All right, just a few announcements because I'm going to be, um, we're not going to get another trade. For those of you want, uh, in the trading room on a trial, um, the trading room is going to be $99 a month. And we are going to be expanding the hours. And once we expand the hours, and we're going to be doing that by mid-September, the price is going to go up. So while it's just a very, very um, short session, um, just because just of my own constraints, we're, we're, we're going to be bringing in a really expert uh, uh, trader on the Forex who understands our system and was able to continue to take trades like this. Um, but we're, we're going to be looking to start the session at uh, 3 a.m. Eastern, uh, Eastern Daylight Time. It will be 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And run through the evening or run through the early morning or uh, late night. Um, and you're going to get many more entries. If you lock in that price when we raise it, when we, when we uh, increase the hours, you, I mean, you'll be grandfathered in, into that price. And um, this weekend, we're, we're going to be running a special on, on the software, which includes the dashboard. Now, the dashboard and the trading software, the dashboard can be used to trade stocks and futures. And And we'll send you out an email. Um, Rory's are uh, in charge of advertising and marketing, and we haven't fixed the price, but you're, you're going to get one. It's going to be a significant discount for the for, for, all, for the for the software and the dashboard. And let's just take a quick look at the. Uh, I see it hit without it without an entry. Now we're getting movement.
and our continuation dot long would give us an entry right here on the euro yen. I'm sorry, on the uh, dollar yen. But unfortunately, it's 831, and this is going to give us a dot. And now we have also, look at this, let's see, we, Aussie dollar. This is an alert, but we're not going to get an entry. Now, if you if you put, if you purchase the software, uh, you, you'll get two didactic sessions with me where I'm going to show you how to anticipate an entry dot with an alert and also how to, to show you how to take an occasional entry on an alert without a dot. It'll increase the number of successful trades you get um, quite, quite considerably. The mandate though for the entry is going to be the alert. Occasionally the algorithmic system won't give you a dot, or I'm going to show you exactly where you can still take a trade. Sorry, right, well, listen, we have got all these potential alerts. This is a beautiful entry on the uh, on the uh, dollar yen, but we just can't. I can't. I can't um, we uh, we were opening up the futures room in. Um, in 12 minutes. So I've got to switch over. So I hope everyone will join us in the futures room. I hope you'll become a member of this room. Um, as a charter member, you, you, um, you're you going to get all upgrades and add-ons. As, as We're really going to make this bigger and better. Um, we are going to expand the hours. Um, the room is going to go to a, uh, at least $199 a month, up to 200 bucks a month. and. Uh, um, we'll, we'll, we'll send out an email, but, we're, but the price of all the software plus the dashboard, we'll offer, you know, we're going we're gonna to make you a really, really nice offer, and we're not going to do that again either once we get, once we get the, uh, uh, the hours expanded and this really cranking it. Because you can see from the, from the early morning sessions, even in this bad volume environment, it really takes perfect entries. Now, not every perfect entry works, but this is this the, the, these entries give you the best chance for, for hitting a profitable trade than any other potential trading system. These aren't dummy dot entries. These are very, very sophisticated entries. And here's another perfect short. This is a perfect short. I just can't, I'm really sorry I can't take it. Here's the pound New Zealand. Look at this. We're getting alerts. What, what, now it's nine minutes and I got to move over. During the trades, I want to take them, believe me. Um, the pound New Zealand is a gorgeous trade to the downside. It's hit. We'll give it a minute. You see the volume is real strong here. Let's come back on us. We've got another entry dot.
it's, it's chopping around. It hasn't taken us out of the trade. But now I only got seven minutes. It just did. It took us out. Perfect entry. I'm really surprised that we didn't, we didn't, we didn't get perfect, perfect follow through to the downside. It just shows that no per, even a perfect trade sometimes doesn't win. Yeah, it was below market profile too. Broke everything. I mean, that was really a perfect down close. All right, everyone, listen, have a really, really, really great evening. Or great evening, I'm getting all mixed up here. Uh, a great afternoon. Um, we'll see you back here on Monday morning. And uh, let's look forward to uh, a little better volume and better follow through once we get past uh, Memorial Day or Labor Day, excuse me. So uh, take care, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.